all right video people we're back again and today uh, we're reviewing this product is the Eero scraps for organic gardening um, plant food fertilizer whichever you want calling so as you might have seen in some previous video goals videos videos that we make a long time ago um, you know say I like gardening, you know, it's something that brings me peace, something that I like to do, something that I like to see. Um, I like to see the plants them grow, all of the stuff that we can't eat from because, you know, I'm a strong believer this stuff you grow in the backyard is healthier than anything you can buy in the store, you know. But at the same time, you don't want to grow anything and use all of these not natural fertilizers you know all them stuff they were just basically the same chemicals that you would buy from the plants or eat in the plants that you buy from the store are the same thing that you would put on your plants in your own garden so you know in in nowadays everybody is going to this organic everything natural no no pesticides no additives no kind of weird additives or anything like that can harm you or in a sense make the food grow oversized and then taste like chemical or not nasty like that you want the real the real tasting and the real growth of these um whatever you grow so i got a couple bags of this product right here again the product is named Eero scraps for organic gardening so this basically is claiming that it is a, um a natural organic food fertilizer as you can see in the image you had the plant leftovers um they add a few of their own ingredients in it and then straight to your garden after that so supposedly this are just all of the table scraps i saw of all of the organic decomposable products that you know you'll basically use like tomato scraps banana scraps all kind of plant life scraps and everything like that that then basically ground up and then process it in their own way to make the plant food so they sell them in different sizes as you can see these are the four pound bag so i'm gonna say you know let me just try it get something small no need nothing too too big forgive me me only have one hand more and try and show you the, the local pellets them inside but might not be able to do that one second so. all right forgive me for that video people we only have we only have one video people today so as you can see pour some more I get closer as you can see it's kind of some look of brown look of chunks um, that's all it is some brown look of chunks and it it smells different from a couple of the other look of non-organic food um, plant fertilizers I used before so hopefully you know it is all organic as, as it's basically claiming so hopefully as I said hopefully it's organic but anyway so um, as I said since I've been using this product also I do notice in some of the plants in the citrus plants and then um, it is summer now where, where I'm at so all of the tomatoes and stuff that we did put it on when the tomatoes are blooming they bloom real good they actually turn into some tomato bush instead of tomato plants um i don't have a picture of that but i mean when we said they need big they need big you understand and they come like some big tablotly bush you understand and then they bear enough 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 tomato so yeah um so again happy with the product it is hopefully as me say it, it does what it says it's supposed to do it's all organic and it's plant food so i'll be using it for a while and as me say only see me again before and you know say they kind of look puny and wimpy so i mean it's hot right now it's it's the florida sun so it beat down the plants them bad but still from the beginning of when me start using this product to right now I can still see a big difference so let me just give you a look of strolling at the backyard and show you one or two of the plants them and show you the growth um, you can go back to one of my previous videos of the garden and see how small the plants were compared to right now and right now as I say I've been feeding the garden with this organic 
this organic plant food and then also on top of that I make my own compost pile and if anybody don't know what a compost pile is it's basically the same table scraps are so banana peel eggshells all that um any kind of plant or vegetable or so peelings that you just throw in a little bin or a bucket me have a little bucket for myself because you know so many little compost so where you see a Lowe's or Home Depot and all that then kind of expensive so you know all you need is a little five gallon paint bucket put a little water in and just throw all of your, your fruit and vegetable peelings your eggshells in there and you go to the put some dirt in there too so the dirt can actually soak it up and so so once you um let it sit about for a good three months or so even even if you want you want to take you out a little bit earlier but you know throw everything in that little bucket seal the bucket so you can go ahead and germinate when you open it probably going to be real stink and look nasty and thing but a good nourishment good dirt you understand so as I say, you can make your own compost pile along adding to this product or so to make it make it a little bit better. It's always good for you have, you know, a, 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 a double whammy in a sense. So you want to just double whammy your gear and you just double whammy. Get your organic things so you know, say so not eat all of that nasty chemical that can mess up your body, make you, make you feel no way or do something to your body. Next thing you know, you start grow an extra two upon your foot and you have to wonder where you come from. And as I say, you have to remember, what you eat is what you are. And what you eat can determine how you feel and a lot of stuff. So you make sure you take care of yourself and watch what you're putting on your body. You understand? So come on, we're going to take a little peek at the garden. All right. So same little shed that me just put that up recently. You have all of me little two lemon eye. But anyway, this plant right here. This I'm a lime tree couple of months ago it was not but the size about to right here and now since after a couple of months it's been raining and the rain has done a lot as well and then as me say the, um, the plant food that I'm using the product that I'm using and then my own compost pile that I'm using now it has grow good leave them green Nice and firm, as you can see, very, very nice color, solid, feel firm, so definitely see a difference. Um, over here, if I don't remember this one, this was my pomegranate tree, and the last time I see it, it probably bought right here, but now as you can see, sending out a lot of new branches leave them green everything nice you see the swaying and the breeze is just done rain so you know the breeze, the breeze just a come and a cool everything done so where we go over yes or no blood cleat a what that a what that a what that what that stress so as you can see last time Everybody know about this? Nobody know about this? This is sugar cane. You see that? This is this our Jamaican man prized possession. You see it? You can't come come chop down man sugar cane. You will get chop up feet. You see it? We don't ramp it with sugar cane. Oh, they sit here take long figure and it's sweet when they do grow them right. So, as I can see, see me look offense there while I make feet. You see it? You see it? It look bad, but me no business. You have to catch you up, so. You see it? Because. With the rain and everything we are going right now, so heavy breeze are leaky. So you have to make sure say catch you up because I can't waste none of your sugar cane. The sugar cane too too it it coming like it coming like one 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 just secret secret type of I don't even know if I want fruit or so. I, I think it's just a root. Me say it's a root for the video purpose. For the video purpose. But as you can see, there's a quite a bit of it. And as I say, since I make my own compost, since I've been using that organic product, it just starts sending off big. It just starts sending off big. It just starts sending off big. So, big improvement in the sugar cane and all the citrus plants then. So, I would recommend the product. As I say, people out there, when you watch what you eat, 
watch on and put it on the body because as I say, one eat might make you sick or cause some other look to affect by yourself or much less if you don't have no local kids. So, yeah, see it there. It's going good. So, organic is the way if you go if possible. Not so much bad chemicals going into your body. It's healthier for the environment, you know, all that stuff. Everything that you put it, put in on the ground now, it basically wash off and go in on the water where you drink. And sometimes if you see some of the water and smell some of the water, it means you, you just pass out when you see them sitting, you understand? Sometimes you see the, pot, the water where they them like in the strawberry field, they are, are not like, like no crap field or not. When you run off in the reservoir, the water frigging green, the water frigging black, all kind of dirtiness and all them kind of sitting there. You can't drink them the water there. You don't want your picnic to drink them the water there. So don't make them kind of water there run off. Don't add to it, Bridget. You have to stay clean and nice and think about people. Some of them company are too wicked, Bridget, who not pollute the air. And if you behave on yourself, have mercy. What I say? Have mercy. So I say, you know, everybody can do a local part if they can. If you have a local garden, as I say, I would suggest trying to go the organic route. Nobody use the whole heap of chemical, chemical business. Get a look of organic something or even if you don't know, use that or so, get start a look of compost pile of all of the local shells and shavings all of the plant life and stuff like that we can decompose naturally and uh, uh, benefit benefit you again and uh, harm the earth you understand so yeah i'm looking again this again so hopefully next time when you see it so you can look like some garden where you see you know some bombard um national geographics are one of them look pretty pretty pamphlet book the way I see in the store like one of the living good or what, what they call it Martha Stewart's book and all them Sydney so yeah man all right until next time you see it see the garden there all right boom